The African Artist Female Mentorship Program for me means that it is a grounded platform that can inform and give insight and, and teach the necessarily skills and knowledge pertaining to the creative industries for upcoming artists and that will put them on a path, like set them on a trajectory that will basically help them make the best informed decisions for their practice. Our motive here is to empower and support the emerging female artists in individual artistic methods and also help them explore their professional ambition through the guidance of their mentors and also exposing them to the experiences and um, professional skills of their mentors. So I see it as a platform that can have a space where the artists will learn what are the expectations, what are certain criteriums with um, participating in exhibitions or group shows, how collection practices work within spaces in different museums and galleries, um, and engagement with curators and practicing um, professional artists so that they can understand and grasp this knowledge um, of past experiences, how it has been, um, what are the current pedagogy the current discourse pertaining to African art and, and, and their insertion of their comments through which is their contribution, their visual art in the global discourse. When we talk about challenges, you have to weigh what you are giving and what you are receiving. And how this ideally um, can inform their practice and, and what they choose to do, whether it's self-representation, whether it's interpretation of their modes of techniques that they apply. What you want to have after a mentee has participated in the African Female Artist Mentorship Program is that they know what are required tools and that they have somehow started on a framework of developing these tools. So I've always been a huge advocate for artist development, especially in Africa, especially in Nigeria. I decided to take on the project because I've always wanted to see development in uh, the African or the Nigerian arts. Images like this, I always like to edit it uh, because it's not a beauty image. I can decide to do whatever I like. Okay, It's not a close-up shot, it's a distant shot. So the attention is more on the entire body or the entire image rather than uh, being fixated on, on the face of it. Okay, so let me show you how I did the gel, gel thing. I this a lot where I'm just trying to present like uh, a variation of or a variety of different edits. So I could, you know, simply change the color of the backdrop just by making it black and white. And then black and white adjustment layer. And then you invert. Hmm? See, it has this rich tonal black and white. This is how I did. Um, yes. The timid color. Uh, okay. So let's do. Wow. This is exactly how I did it. Just using the exposure tool. just for you to sit and think. Because what I like to do a lot of times when I'm editing pictures, I'll simply open an image in Photoshop and I just stare at it for a while and decide what I want to do with the image. Because I'm trying to edit differently. Uh, why I took up the, the position to be a mentor to the girls, I'm one of the luckiest person on that. I've been in this position too, where a lot of people have actually uh, mentored me. And I think now, is the best time for me to give back to, to other people 
and uh, especially females, I'm, I'm quite happy to be able to teach them one or two things from what I've learned from people. This is on widowhood. It's a woman that is staring at the window while others are outside deciding her fate. When I saw this work and I remember what we, we, we talked about, what we said, and I see these dark tones, that reminds me of what they wear when they are in that, in that state, which is black. And um, so I, I immediately like the facts that you are representing that in this painting. It makes a lot of sense. Okay, the, this painting is like a background um, framed work, like a frame painting or something at her back. Mm. That's this like cross yeah. about to touch, not touch. To touch my hair. Mm. So, and the background was mainly to show like she's inside a, like a place, no outside. Mm. Fantastic. So, uh, is that why you put the switch? to show that she's inside. You can actually use a lot of things and you can even... Um, but what I would like to say here is everything and anything you put in your work must have the reason. Um, that can connote many things. But I want you to look at it very well. There must be a reason why you put something in your work. Um, even if the, the background is plain, you can still argue that it's inside. Do you understand that? You can actually simply use a cast, which I think you've done, the angle of the room, uh, to suggest it's inside, which is good. Uh, but by putting that switch, means there is something more important than just is in the room. My, my works are centered on fantasy and leisure just existing because personally I, I live a lot in my head so and if since I'm always in my head I zone out a lot so a lot of people notice when they spend time with me this, my works are just basically can I just exist in my fantasy and guys, leisure please fantastic guys do you know what I like about your works you know um all the things, everything you're saying eh, is in your work. And I'm actually happy, I'm glad for that. You see a lot of people talk about their work and you look at the work and listen to them and they will be two separate things. <laughs> Do you understand that? So the way I'm looking at your work, I can see that, you know, uh, not only the one uh, can I just be a what do you call that? Can I just be? I mean, you know? Yes. Can she just be? Why do you have to stress out? My name is Sonaya Thomas. I applied for the AFM program um, after speaking to a friend, a photographer friend about my struggles with photography, wanting to grow my craft and um, the business as well. And so he sent me the link um, to Mr. Aham's page and the post and I applied, I took a leap of faith. My name is Fumle Otejumola. I'm a visual artist and I applied for the program because I couldn't pass up the opportunity to learn more and improve on my Artworks. Well, this is my first mentorship program, so I was curious. I wanted to know what it was like. I was excited to learn and networking, meeting other artists to learn from them. Basically, it was all about learning from me. So, one of the reasons why I signed up for the AFAN mentorship program was because Mr. Aham was the mentor. So, it was like the opportunity of a lifetime to like learn under him even if it's for just a short period of time? Um, before I applied for the program, what I want, I wanted to improve on my portfolio, which is one of the things the program, I'm achieving with the program, improving on my portfolio. And 
One thing I find like really interesting about the program is working in the studio with other artists. People that came from different places I've not met before. Meeting them in the studio and having to work with them in the studio. It has been like a commune of artists. We come together, we talk about our works, we share ideas, we correct each other, we model for each other, which is very interesting having to use the people in the studio as my model because I, we didn't come in with pre-existing ideas. I chose to apply for the AFAM program because um, when I saw it on Mr. Am's page for the first time, I thought it would be a good way to learn more and I just needed um, new education material for my work. Okay, I'm looking to achieve pretty much, like I said before, more education. I'm trying to improve my crafts. If I'm going to learn more, I have to join programs like this. So that's it. And so far, the most exciting thing has been today, the retouching class. This program is a well thought out um, initiative, very practical, beyond um, the school, you know, the non-formal academic uh, curriculum. It's a well thought out program to support uh, female African artists and um, professional aspirations and dreams you know, by providing them a platform whereby they meet, have that one-on-one -on -one with uh, their mentors respectively. Each of the mentors have designed their programs, you know, specifically knowing and understanding their mentees. Have, they have designed their programs to, to tutor them and in doing that, it's all encompassing, you know, from idea generation to storytelling to method and material even down to the business angle of it how to present them their works and all that i hope that you know this project or this mentorship program like um, so many others that are out there will stand the test of time and um, it will be very uh, instrumental in encouraging future artists future photographers to join the program i mean how does it help um there's no doubt there's a um, lot of focus now in contemporary African arts and it will make more sense to have more female presence in that, you know. So in doing that, it's for them to build their confidence in telling their story, using their creative abilities, you know, using their art to write the narrative with regards to how Africa is positioned, you know, to shine more positive light to it and so on.